respected uh, Ms. Purani, Vice President of TAIF, Dr. Balu, uh, President of GRAPS Educational uh, Society, uh, Dr. Neelima, Coordinator of this National Seminar on Academic Research Practices. So from morning, uh, you would have been hearing uh, respected uh, award winners, resource persons, good afternoon to everyone. I appreciate everyone for your presence from various different states of this country. And uh, I feel privileged and honored to be part of this program. I also thank the organizers for providing me this opportunity to meet you all in person. So as everyone were telling, after two years, everyone are stepping out and uh, uh, everyone are meeting one another. Maybe that is the reason. Actually, uh, we were, I was under the impression that last two years, I was giving so many uh, talks on online, invited guest lectures for various seminars, faculty development programs. So during those sessions, after the completion of session, when we ask any doubt or any questions, we d never get anything, uh, any feedback. Rarely they uh, submit their feedback link. They will only be asking for the feedback link because only if they submit the feedback link, they get the certificate, right? So I was under the impression when this scenario will change, when we can meet people in person, when we can go and address the gathering. But uh, to my surprise, I think that was much, much better. I was observing here, everyone were busy with their phone and talking to their friends. I hardly, I can, uh, uh, I, I can appreciate anyone who have listened to all the speakers. Maybe it is so uh, monotonous in order to listen to research again and again. Okay, so let me, uh, but I cannot deviate from the topic. I have also, I should also talk only on research because the topic given is research only. So good academic research practices. Research is the integral part of academics, no doubt in it. And many of you who have gathered here are academicians. So when I started my career, not very far, uh, just 21 years back. So nowadays, it's not when you tell a story to anybody, you cannot say long, long ago, so long ago. Whatever I say today, it becomes a story after five years. So that is how things are rapidly changing. So when I started my career 21 years back, academics, they told academic teaching and uh, research in academics are like two eyes. Okay, then I asked, okay, I know about teaching uh, because I am very passionate towards teaching. So I took this job uh, because there are many accidental uh, teachers. Uh, they don't get any other job. They are not uh, uh, well versed with other things. So they want to balance the family and uh, uh, work. So they opt for this. But my uh, option was different. I was passionate towards teaching, so I opted this career. So I know very good about teaching. Then I asked, what is research? They said, uh, uh, you do something in your laboratory. You publish it. At least uh, two publications per year or something like that. So that becomes your research. Okay, done. That was done. So I have uh, experience of sending, so we are uh, uh, 70s kids, right? So I belong to 70s kids. So I have an experience of sending my paper in floppy. And now I am doing online submission. So I have transformed a lot. That is different. So, okay, I, uh, I published a paper, that too, in our domain. So each and everybody has different journals in your domain. So in my domain, there were only two popular uh, journals that time. I am talking about 2000. That time, there were only two journals. So I published, uh, I tried publishing in that. I couldn't able to succeed. After two, three years, in that one particular journal, I was able to publish eight articles. Oh, then I, I thought, okay, I have achieved something. Then when I went for Amsterdam for a paper presentation, one person asked me, you tell your publication not in that journal, except that journal. And I was surprised. 
oh i have not still reached i am not a good researcher so i had to work very hard and i have to prove myself that i can publish in other journals also so like uh, uh, international journals okay that was achieved then they said no no this is not enough you have to publish in scopus index then a science citation index okay that is also done now they are again threatening us with impact factor the h index i10 index okay everything is done i have now 520 citations of course that is very very less when compared to many of the researchers sometimes we feel ashamed if we see 2000 citations in one uh, google scholar so it's better not to visit uh, them uh, it's better to focus on you alone so uh, this is how the transformations are so when we become uh, now it's becoming uh, they are asking uh, how many patents you have so uh, when i stepped into my career it was like two eyes teaching and research is like two eyes now the entire phase is with the research only entire my phase it has occupied entire phase so uh, now they are asking for patents of course we have filed the two patents it got published but i don't know whether it will get awarded or not that is different so with this pressure when we were uh, about to give up i think uh, uh, grabs educational charitable trust and tafe uh, dr balu and dr neelima are, are coming to us and telling don't give up don't ever never give up like our ajit sir and uh, they are holding our hands and giving some token of appreciation and awards so that we can move to the next level so that is what is required in research that's what i feel uh, so thank you very much for the organizers on behalf of all the recipients of today's uh, uh, all the uh, award winners and recipients of award i thank the organizers team for arranging this wonderful thing so that it encourages us to move forward in our research so uh, when uh, i'll just uh, start my is my presentation there